वेलकम बैक टू कैट कैम ट्यूटोरियल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिजाइन एंड असेंबल ए ब्यूटीफुल प्रेस क्लैम सी दिस इज दी प्रेस क्लैम वी विल डिजाइन असेंबल एंड असेंबल ईच एंड एवरी पार्ट इन सॉलिड वर्क सो लेट्स सी हाउ टू डू इन सॉलिड वर्क now here we will sketch our first part clamp uh, press clamp stand choose right plane sketch select a line and start from the line draw a vertical horizontal vertical and connect it to origin point now exit and let's assign the dimension 184 mm 46 mm 20 mm and this height length width also 28 mm okay now choose center line and draw a center line from the midpoint exit select circle and draw a circle here keep the diameter 4 mm and distance from bottom line keep 12 mm okay now choose linear sketch pattern select this line as a axis select here circle go to y direction we want five number of holes and keep the distance 18 mm 90 degree okay now here you can see the five dimensions you can verify the dimensions see 18 mm okay choose radius fill it and keep radius 5 mm and select this corner 8 mm sorry okay now uh, this geometry is perfect let's extrude it choose mid plane keep the thickness 7 mm only okay now select this face sketch normal draw a center line first draw a center line from this midpoint up to here and draw a vertical line draw a circle keep the diameter 22 mm and the distance of circle from this midpoint keep 46 mm okay and extrude now extrude it up to 25 mm reverse direction make reverse direction okay that's it now again choose right plane sketch normal and here we want to make some revolve cut some pattern here choose line up to this corner go back and draw a circle here and up to this point exit select this point and this point vertical this point and this point horizontal first draw a center line okay now let's assign the dimension keep 7 mm 
डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम बॉटम लाइन वन एम एम कीप रेडियस थ्री एम एम सेलेक्ट ओके बाई डिफॉल्ट इट्स बिकम वन एम एम ओके नाउ लेट सेलेक्ट रिवॉल्व कट सी दिस एक्सिस सेलेक्टेड दिस कंस्ट्रक्शन ज्योमेट्री ओके नाउ अवर शेप इज रेडी दिस शेप वी वॉन्ट नाउ सेलेक्ट दिस टॉप फेस स्केच एंड ड्रॉ ए सर्कल हियर वी वॉन्ट टू मेक अ होल हियर एंड कीप द डायमीटर सेवन पॉइंट फाइव एम एम ओके एंड सेलेक्ट एक्सक्लूडेड कट अप टू नेक्स्ट ओके see the throughout hole created now do one thing just make chamfer 1 mm and select this inside face so that both end will be selected okay now you can see both end selected now select this face sketch select this inside circle convert it okay and we want to create here thread so first select path choose helix and spiral pitch and revolution constant pitch keep 7 mm pitch we will make 1.5 mm revolution 18.75 clockwise 0 direct degree okay now select right plane sketch now here we will sketch some choose here hidden line visible now here we will select some polygon keep three numbers or uh, let's try line try to start from this point and connect it with this point draw a one horizontal line with this midpoint okay select this midpoint and make relation horizontal now assign the distance keep 1.3 mm and keep the degree 60 mm choose corner radius 0.09 mm select this end okay it's almost coincident here you can see the relation so just do one thing just exit from the sketch and go to swift cut here profile selected just select the path see it is calculated and it's already cut you can see okay now see the thread cut inside now this time we will assign the material for stand or you can say base rod we will say it base just select the full body and save as go to iron when we will allow cast iron or we will change some light color so it will be it should be visible okay now save this part go to desktop create a folder press clamp open and save this part to number 1 base select stand okay 
Now let's move for the next part. Now here we will make our second part body. So let's start. Choose front plane, a sketch, and select center rectangle. And draw two rectangles here. One outside and inside. Exit. Now let's assign dimension. Thirty by sixteen mm. And this one. 20 by 7 mm. Okay, and let's extrude it up to 30 mm. Okay. Now we will assign material carbon. cast carbon steel and choose the color red or choose metallic color candy apple red that's it we will choose always perspective now choose top plane sketch normal and here i will sketch some geometry select this line and convert it okay now choose a line draw a curve then horizontal line then draw a curve and up to this end point now exit now first draw a center line from origin point make sure it is vertical <coughs> vertical first assign the dimension from outside Keep forty six mm, ten mm, four mm. This dia twelve mm radius, and this radius keep ten mm. Select OK, and make sure this point. and this point should be horizontal okay make 1 mm now our geometry is fully defined now select extruded boss choose here mid plane and keep 7 mm see okay now select this face sketch normal first draw a center line now select corner rectangle and draw a rectangle select these three lines make relation symmetric now assign the dimension keep the length 30 mm and the width 20 mm okay select this line and this line make collinear 
ओके चूज कॉर्नर रेक्टेंगल कीप रेडियस फाइव एम एम और वी वॉन्ट टू मेक सम सेलेक्ट सर्कल एंड ड्रॉ ए सर्कल हियर कीप द डायमीटर फाइव टेन एम एम ओके एंड ट्रिम आउट साइड सर्कल्स एंड दिस टू लाइन्स ओके दिस इज दवर रिक्वायरमेंट सेलेक्ट एक्सटूडेड बॉस अप टू टेन एम एम अपवर्ड डिरेक्शन टेन एम एम ओके नाउ सेलेक्ट दिस साइड फेस स्केच नॉर्मल ड्रॉ ए सर्कल इन बोथ द कॉर्नर्स एंड कीप द डायमीटर टेन एम एम ओके चूज ट्रीम एंटिटी कैंसल इट फर्स्ट डू वन वन मोर थिंग सेलेक्ट दिस बोथ द लाइन्स एंड कन्वर्ट इट ओके इट इज कन्वर्टेड नाउ चूज ट्रीम एंटिटी एंड ट्रीम इट Now select extruded cut. Choose here up through all. See, it's going to up to end. Okay. Now, now here we want to make some this cut out uh, not looking better. this appearance we will go again a steel and uh, better select carbon steel and choose material red color red okay now this cut out actually we don't want to be here so do one thing edit select a line connect it up to here as a construction geometry now it is full exit see it is full now select this face a sketch normal and draw a circle here keep diameter 10 mm and select this two outer lines and just convert it trim entity trim outer circle okay trim this line also now select extruded cut and choose up to through all okay now see here we make some cut out bottom side because this is our bed for uh, pressing any material now select this face a sketch normal draw a center line horizontal line select line connect this end to this end exit just make it 45 degree okay draw a center line 
and connect with this center line we want to actually merge this line so just drag it merge uh better delete this and select star point drop one star here one star here select both the stars and choose coincident okay now exit from the sketch maybe something went wrong this geometry or do one thing just delete this geometry delete it and just hide some steps okay this is step 5 now select this face sketch normal and draw a circle here remember the steps if you forget 10 mm okay now choose both the line just convert it trim entity trim now select extruded cut and choose up through all up to end okay now expand these two layers that's that's it now this line created here so select this face A sketch normal now this is the our one point select line and start to draw a one geometry connect with this point exit choose center point and uh, select this line to mid of this line choose vertical define the dimension one mm it's by default 1 mm and the distance from here to this line 1 mm okay and uh, define the distance from here to top line keep 5 mm okay now see this point here now we will just exit and select swift cut profile selected just select the path choose okay now see the groove is created now this groove is selected choose linear pattern first select one edge go to direction to select this second edge distance 5 mm and six numbers reverse direction and here also six number 5 mm gap that's it choose okay now see the grooves are created now again choose the same face sketch normal now we want to make opposite direction of this line so first define some center point uh 
again choose center line this is the center line connect with this point delete this line first select whether it's horizontal okay now find this is the center line so just draw a word up to here draw a line connect from here to this point and pass make sure both the line collinear and define the angle 45 degree okay now just exit select this face sketch and here we want to define one more okay exit select the center line make for construction geometry one mm one mm and this distance one mm now exit from the sketch choose your swift cut the profile selected just select path select ok now it is cut choose linear pattern select one side this axis and direction to select this axis reverse direction it's ok select Five distance key five and six numbers. Now see the grooves are created. Select these patterns and define the color white. Okay. Now so it is easily. white so it will it is easily distinguish so this is the bed of press clamp now select this face sketch normal now we want to create some groups here for holding this bed in a stand first we will draw a center line select circle and draw a circle here keep the diameter 4 mm and select extruded cut cut up to through all okay see so this is the body for uh, press clamp so save as body let's move for the next part now the next part here is the screw rod so let's start choose front plane and select line and start from origin point draw a horizontal line then a vertical line with taper then go back here and draw a circle up to the same line then 
draw a vertical line then little inside vertical line and connect with origin point select this line vertical now let's assign the dimension 4 mm keep 17 mm and this diameter radius keep 2.5 mm the distance from here to this point 5 mm keep 5 mm okay keep 2 mm 14 mm and define the length from this point to bottom 70 mm okay now our geometry is fully defined so choose revolve boss base select this outer line as a axis okay we will assign some material choose brushed steel okay define chamfer 0.5 mm select this end okay now select this face sketch select this circle just convert it we want to make some thread here so first we will select path pitch and revolution constant pitch pitch keep 1.5 revolution 38.25 mm up to the end 0 degree clockwise select okay now again choose front plane sketch normal now here we will sketch some profile so draw a triangle here select center line and connect with this midpoint and select this center line and make relation horizontal now we will define some dimension length keep 1.3 mm Sixty degree, and define the corner radius point zero nine mm. Okay. Now select this outer line and this line and make a relation collinear. select okay now exit from the sketch select swift cut the profile is selected just select the path it's calculating now see the path is selected and is calculated now just select okay now it's calculating the teeth cutting it may takes few seconds so keep patient okay now again choose front plane sketch and we want to make some cut out here first draw a center rectangle uh vertical construction line make sure it is vertical now choose corner rectangle and draw one rectangle keep the length 12 mm 5 mm okay now select these three lines and make relation symmetric okay now select extruded cut choose here mid plane 
see we want to cut through all okay sometime it takes time to cut nowadays my computer is very slow that's why it taking time now see so now our screw body is ready this is the screw body or screw rod for press clamp now save this part part number 3 screw rod Okay now we will move to the next part Now the next part we will sketch here is screw base so start from front plane select sketch now select line draw a line like this now go to word and go back and draw a half circle come down then again go to the origin point and draw a quarter circle then again go to this center point and it will converted into arc and connect with this point exit now let's define this geometry seven point five mm keep eight mm keep six mm radius keep two mm okay now just make down this again define this length 2 mm the distance from here to this point keep 8 mm okay select this point and this point horizontal vertical it is perfect quarter and define by default it should be 6 mm okay define the radius to mm and this is by default 6.9 okay 89 so our geometry is fully defined now select revolve boss base this outer line select as a axis okay we will assign some material so it will easily understand certain finished stainless steel select this face sketch we want to create a hole here so define a circle keep diameter 4 mm and select extruded cut and choose here through all okay now the through all hole is created now select this face sketch we want to make a hole here but not through all first define the diameter 10 mm select extruded cut and up to 8 mm inside so this our screw base is ready this is the screw base now save this part number 3 4 save okay let's move for the next part Now the next part here we will sketch lock pin 
फ्रंट प्लेन स्केच सेलेक्ट लाइन ड्रॉ ए लाइन देन अगेन गो बैक टू दी ओरिजिन पॉइंट एंड इट विल ऑटोमेटिकली कन्वर्टेड इन टू आर्क ड्रॉ ए आर्क अप टू हियर अगेन कन्वर्ट इट एंड कनेक्ट first define the distance 30 mm keep radius 2 mm to mm by default 2 mm okay now select revolve boss base select bottom line as a axis now we will define some material this satin finish chrome save as save as lock pin now the here next part is a screw tap choose front plane a sketch and select here ellipse and start from origin point okay now let's assign the length and width 42 mm the width and height is 24 mm okay select line connect it here select this line horizontal now define the length 5 mm choose trim entity and trim this line okay select extruded boss choose mid plane and keep the width 5 mm only material choose satin finish stainless steel now save as part number 6 screw tab okay let's move for the next part now here let's start the assembly of press clamp so choose new assembly okay first import our first part keep stand okay select plain white now insert the next part body okay now we will define choose this face mat clear first rotate the component select okay now define the mat select this face and this face okay now this face and this face okay now it is fixed here now insert our next component 
let's say pin lock pin we will search, select this face hole mat and this pin okay now select this face and this face it is resting here cocentric relation okay you can see now you can in little insert okay now let's insert the another part a screw rod and a screw base okay just make this relation mat select this hole and this concentric relation okay now select this face and this face coincident relation okay now select this face and this face make relation concentric okay now take it up select down and choose here temporary axis now we will define some select this is the temporary axis of screw rod and this is the stand so choose mat select both the axis go to mat a screw keep 1 mm revolution per mm direction is uh, up to you either reverse or what select okay okay now see it is rotating so our screw mat is exists now just hide the temporary axis now browse the next last part tab select this face and this face coincident select this face and this face reverse direction okay now we will assign some relation to this select right plane of this screw tab and screw rod front plane just press control and choose front plane see both the axis we selected choose mat both the planes coincident relation okay okay now the tap is fixed with center now just we will see how it is rotating just take it down see so our press screw is ready so this is the widely used press screw in the industry you will find in many industry now save this assembly okay i hope you enjoyed please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks and don't forget to subscribe our channel thanks for watching